Okay, let's carry on to the presentation section for task 6. You're going to create a short presentation. All slides must have a consistent layout and formatting. That means um, slide master. Using otherwise instructed, slide must be formatted to display title and bulleted list. Create a presentation of 6 slides using J220 uh, RAM.RDA file. So we have to locate this file and open it in the presentation. Uh, on the first slide, enter your name after the text that is written presented by. Okay, to open it first, we have to go and open PowerPoint. And we don't need to create a new file. All we just need to do is open and locate or browse over where the file is located in. I can copy the source, the path. And usually you will get here nothing. Um, nothing will appear here all you need to do is just from here and you need to present all the files and just look at the file they're asking about it which is j220 RAM okay everything will be open in its own slide in six slides in order and arranged you don't need to do anything the first question let's get back again to questions uh, on slide one, enter your name after the text presented by. So let's go back again here. And we need to enter the name over here. Let's get back again to the question number 30. Format the first slide so that a title slide layout is applied with no bullets. Okay, we need to make it into a title slide. And there's supposed to be no bullets in it. So right click layout and title slide there is nothing in bullets over here just to make sure click over and check if this is activated or no same for here and here uh, the title and subtitle text are centered in the middle of the slides it's already by default as we made it title slide it is already centered Use a master slide. Right now we're going to start to use the master slide to display only the following features. We need the name, center number, and candidate number. Not specifically mention where in the top or bottom or right or left line. And automa automatic slide numbers on the bottom left. So here we need to have the slide number. So let's get back again to the slide view and slide master always go to the very first slide and then let's add the first one the slide master so go to insert and header and footer first thing let's add the slide number okay let's add it and we need to make it to the bottom left so this is the slide number we don't need actually this one it's not going to appear at all because we didn't activate it we just need this to be on the left bottom so we just can make it to the left side let's close it and check it okay it's appearing to the left side we can make it more to the left but i think this is fine and then we can add the names candidate number and center number probably we can add it on this side so let's get back again to the slide master always go to the very first insert header and footer and we can add it in the footer here the name center number and the candidate number and it's activated over here we don't need the date so we can remove it and we can move this to the right side okay let's close it and let's check it that's looking fine okay so the next question make sure that master slide appear on in every position on every slide and there is no overlapping on an, any slide everything is okay um, move the slide with the title background so that it becomes two slides so that it becomes slide 2 so we need to move 
the slide that having the title background uh, let's look where is it it's over here slide number five we need to move it to become slide number two that's pretty easy we just need to drag it so let's go over here and drag it to the second place so it becomes slide number two okay we're done with this next question use the data in file uh, it's a csv file speed to create a line chart we need a line chart right now to compare the records for each year or for solo female okay it's mentioned here some important data and solo male racers only include the years as category access label so years supposed to be I believe always years can be category access, not value access, except only a few times. So let's go and have a look at the this file, speed. It is a CSV file. Mm, let's expand them and let's have a look here. We have records in MPH, that's the title. Then we have here around uh, five years, 2014, 15, 16, 17. And we have seems different racers. So two person mixed team, four person mixed team, eight person solo female and solo male. And this is their records for each year. So what we're needing only for these records only for solo female and male for all the years so create a line chart records of each year so each year it's clear we want it for all the years only for solo female and solo male racers only include the years as okay let's get back again over here let's highlight over those two records that we needed plus we need to mention also the year and then let's go to insert and recommended charts there is nothing recommended over here okay, i forgot whenever we're selecting over here i need to select this and i need to select this completely like this so let's go to recommended charts okay it's giving me here already line uh, chart if you're not sure um this is line chart yeah so if you're not sure this is a line chart you can go back to here old charts and you can here go to the line chart according to the name and choose it and i believe i always um, can choose from here from the recommended so add this one and let's start to check it right now the years all of them are added i have the records and it's clear the blue for the female solo and the orange for the um, male solo or solo male the next question was label the chart with the title solo average speed records and then format the value axis right now we say that this is the category axis and this is the this must be the value axis so format the value axis to display we need a label okay uh, miles per hour minimum value to be 6 maximum value 24 and the increments in between them supposed to be 4 so uh, to show to show the label for the value axis we can go over here and access titles and I just don't need I don't need it for both of them I just need it for the vertical one which is the value axis and I take over here and I add the title over here the next question uh, in the label okay I am done with this minimum value is supposed to be six and maximum value to make this appear we have to select the value axis right click and format the axis 
this option with this window will appear and here right now we can set up our uh, numbers so minimum 6 maximum supposed to be 22 in case any number change we need to set it back again and then the increment is supposed to be 4 always in the increment you have two uh, values always go for the major okay great nothing changed 6 22 4 this might change so leave it as it is changing here you can see the minimum is 6 maximum is 22 and the increment between them is happening by 4 format the chart to display only the data values as labels displayed to two decimal places above each data point so to do the data labels we need to go to the chart and from the plus sign over here and we need to add the data labels and we can modify it or change it to where we want it to be appearing probably this is the best is above over here or okay above is better and then to to make it into two decimal points we just scan over here go back again to the same data labels place to more options or we right click over the uh, over those numbers right click and format data labels the same uh, window will appear what we need to do is we need to make it into over here we need to choose it and we need to make it set it into a number so you can see it's appearing into right now two decimal places as it is mentioned here two decimal places we have to do the same for this go and make it into number into two decimal places and that's it after that we need to make sure that the legend is showing and actually it is already showing over here in case it wasn't showing we can go over here and take this click or click here this one uh, place the chart to the left of the bullets on the slide with the title complete records so let's go back here copy this one and let's go and look where is complete records okay completion records Okay, and we need to put it on which side we need it to put it on the left side of the bullets so we need to make this to the right side and paste it over here okay after this Make sure that all the data is fully visible and no overlapping. Everything is good. And then save the presentation and print the presentation as handout with two slides to the page, each filling half of the page. Okay? And print this handout. Make sure that your name, center number, candidate number are on all of the slides. So we need to make two slides per page so there are six slides so three pages so let's go to print and over here we can choose that to be um, two pages and it's supposed to be full pages like this so page one two I mean slide one two then three four five and six the names the names and the slide numbers are appearing over here and the page number itself is appearing over here uh, okay and that's it and we need to print this paper that's all and uh, I hope you got the point and you got all the questions clearly